Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here and welcome back to Vampire Survivors. Thank you guys so much for clicking on the video and joining me here today. I think we're going to try out a new hero. I really want to try out Gennaro. I feel bad about not doing it in order. Uh, he's 550, we can't afford that anyway. Let, let's go here, let's unlock Pascalina. She starts with the Rune Caster, Rune Carver. Projectiles get 10% faster every 5 levels to a max of 30. And we will try the inlaid library. The futile scribe was cursed to know all and understand nothing. His endless library may gift us insight or damnation. A mask of stone whispers endlessly within. A relics in the stage? Okay, so there's a relic in the stage. And the, this is going to ricochet potentially off the walls and stuff in here. So this is actually a good level to use this weapon on. Okay, uh, right away I do want to go crosses. Just to get another source of damage going out. I'm definitely going to go garlic, especially getting offered it this early. The AoE damage, the knockback, I mean, it's absolutely essential if you can get it early. The really interesting runs tend to be when they don't offer you garlic at all. <laughs> that makes some of your choices very interesting. Definitely King Bibles. We're getting a lot of good stuff really early. The interesting thing I found about this game playing it, uh a lot on the Xbox in the evenings is that the more weapons and stuff you unlock, yeah, you get access to some really cool weapons, but it adds a lot of stuff to the pool of potential things that you'll draw, so sometimes you don't get your favorites, and it kind of forces you to learn more weapon types, which I think is really cool. Let's do the Rune Tracer th level 2. I'm kind of waiting on that floor chicken. I, I'm going to farm here for a little bit before we really try to go anywhere. When we're in a phase where we have to avoid most of the enemies, like where we can't pop them easily, then we'll try to travel a little bit. But when we're, when we're farming them, I'm going to try to stay in a, a smaller area. Don't know if that strategy is going to work out well for us or not. I know there's lots of stuff that we have to discover in a lot of these maps. But the main thing we have to do is we have to survive. Uh, I really want to go Attract Orb, but I yeah, I don't like Axes, to be fair. I'm going to go Attract Orb. But am I, am I going to be able to combo this with anything? I don't know. Uh, let's go Attract Orb. Well, Attract Orb would, would pair with Santa Water if we had Santa Water. We have a clock down here to freeze everybody in place. I don't think we want to use that yet. Let's hang out and let's wait for a bigger phase. Let's try Pichon. I, I find that I don't use this very often and I'd like to start using it more. We'll do a tractor level two. That's going to make it easy when we want to travel to make sure that we're not leaving all of our experience behind. In fact, this might be a phase where we can do a little bit of traveling now that we do have the attract orb. Uh, do I want fire wand? I think that'd be okay. Yeah, it's hard to think about moving on much right now and leaving all this experience behind. I'd like to get Duplicator. 
it's gonna the weapons are gonna fire more projectiles and everything we have is kind of firing projectiles right now so I think duplicator is good we've got some mummies mo moving in but we're, we're popping them pretty easily okay that was uh, a frozen time I'm gonna take this opportunity to kind of press onward here and I think I'm gonna grab this clock here too let's just eat the floor chicken Oh, we got another clock. I wonder if our luck is just really popping off right now. Um, hmm, King Bibles it is. Let's grab this one, we might as well. And we'll start making our way to the left. We do have a chest back here. We must have popped a mini boss. Ooh, it's a three-way chest. Very exciting. To get this early is really good. Cross, fire wand, and attract orb. Yeah, that's that's good. I'll take it. Let's do rune tracer. Let's do garlic level 2, definitely. Uh, King Bibles, I think, would be good. Or we could level crosses with it. Let's do... Let's do crosses. Eventually we'll be targeting like specific attacks, trying to get them evolved as quickly as possible, but that's going to be more when we're doing hyper levels. Early on in progression, it doesn't matter as much. That's what I found at least. We'll do Fire Wand. Bibles. Free Bibles upgrade. Perfect. Let's take... Hmm. Let's take spinach. Raises inflicted damage by 10%. I, I think... Does spinach pair up with fire wand? We're going to find out some of these things on accident. But I am starting to learn them. So I do play quite a bit of this game in my spare time. It's kind of the funnest game that I've played in a, a decade or so. So... Yeah, I really love it. Let's do Pichon level 2. Let's get that going. We're, we're getting a lot of the experience as we go by just having a tractor, but we did leave a lot on the ground. And I don't want to permanently leave it all on the ground. I am going to keep trying to make our way to the left, though. Now that we've specced into a little bit of regen, you know, if we get hit a couple times, not really a big deal as long as we can get to a point where we're not getting hit for a while, we can kind of regen that health a bit. It goes really slowly, but you'll see it, it will regen over time. See, there it goes. It just kind of helps it so that uh, finding floor chickens is not your end-all be-all on how to get your health back and survive longer. In my opinion, the health regen is one of the one of the best talents to take early on. Because it allows you to make mistakes. Alright, so the skellies with the swords and their head in their hands, those are a little bit tougher. We're not really popping them in a couple of hits, so we can kind of avoid those. We can pop the green broccolis. 
So this is a good time to kind of make our way through and just kind of keep on the move here. We're not getting a lot of experience from these guys. We can't pop the skellies as easily, so we can kind of just keep moving. And we'll let Attract Orb work for us here. Um, hmm. I don't know. Maybe Empty Tome? Now those fire ladies, if they get to you and they blow up on you, they deal quite a bit of damage, so you really do want to avoid them. That's why having things with knockback is really important for those guys. Garlic has a good knockback on it. Oh, that's going to be bad. Oh, that was bad. Oh, we took a huge hit. All right, now we can't get hit for a while. We need to let our regen go. We might want to double back to try to get some experience we left behind. Okay, the spirits. Oh, we can't quite pop the spirits. Oh, it's a big broccoli here, so that's a boss broccoli. We, we do want to get his chest. Uh, let's go Rune Tracer. Alright, I think we have to go Fire Wand here for some more damage output. That's a frightening wave of spirits and mummies that we probably can't... Oh wait, we are popping them pretty easily. Okay, let's just be a little careful here. Uh, I still need to be regenning my health right now. Okay, maybe time to get clear. Uh, let's go garlic. I think that's going to be essential now to get some of that AoE damage boosted. Make it a little bit easier to pop these uh, mummies. Alright, I need to find a bunch of blue to run through here. Here we go. Uh, I think I have to go damage here, so uh, rune tracer it is. Hollow Heart would pair with... Uh, what did it pair with? Nothing we have, right? It pairs with Whip? Let's do Fire Wand then. Garlic, level 4. All right, we've got these twirling lion head things that are quite tough. It might be a boss of some kind. As soon as we pop this chest, we need to run out of there really quick because there is a fiery witch about to explode on our face. Okay, rune... Caster leveled up. I will call the Rune Tracer about 17 different things, including Rune Carver, Rune Tracker. Uh, yeah, it'll be called different things. I don't know why. It's the only weapon that I do that with, I think.
out of these choices, I am going to go spinach level 2, increasing all of our base damage. Alright, we've got Medusa heads and the spinning cabbages. Oh, those are the lion guy, but littler. Okay, little lion spinners and uh, Medusa heads. Eventually we'll have a beast area and they'll tell us the real names of these things, but for right now we'll just be making up our own little names. And even after we have the beast area, I, I don't know if I will be able to remember all their names. Uh, they're tough. These guys are tough though. We're not really popping them easily. We're having to do a lot of avoidance. Trying not to take too much incidental damage here. The knockbacks are helping a lot. Yeah, but it's the knockbacks that's saving us from a bunch of damage right now. Uh, I think I have to go King Bible 6. I am still interested in making our way to the left, but honestly, it's, it's just tough to survive right now, so... Trying to get as much XP as I can to kind of give us a little boost. Rune Tracer 8. Okay. Let's pop this chest. So that's a level... I don't remember what pairs with the Rune Tracer. I don't remember what passive it is. It's not armor, is it? Okay, we hit a little gold spree here, that's interesting. And we have the chest at the same time. Spinach, okay, free level of spinach, 180 gold, very good. And we have gold fever right now, so... Let's hope we can pop some of these guys, take advantage of it here. I think we go King Bible 7. Well, we got 85 gold from that. It's not a ton of gold, but it's it's better than nothing. Okay, let's go cross this six. Yeah, the idea of leaving all this XP back here is uh, basically just unacceptable to me. So yeah, we're circling back for now. A Tract Orb could help us, uh, but so could King Bible's 8. A Floor Chicken would be great, yeah. That's awesome. Big wave coming in, it looks like. Uh, spinach? Okay, that's not bad before a big wave. All base damage up by another 10%. Okay, we can melt this if we're cautious. Attract Orb again would be good. We can pull in some more XP as we travel. And not have to circle back for it. Oh, look at it all though. Uh, let's do... Should we grab armor? Let's grab armor. Uh, let's do cro hollow heart or crosses. Let's do crosses for now.
Yeah, I, I think we're... I, I don't want to say we're good yet, but we're, we're getting there. We don't have any evolutions, and uh, that could hurt us. Could definitely start to hurt us. But I feel like once we get everything up and get all of our passives maxed out, we'll be in pretty good shape. Even if we don't have evolutions. Garlic level 7, definitely. Garlic level 8, yes. Oh uh, yeah, Pichon level 3. Pichon got really far behind, didn't it? Alright, we have a new wave coming and we've got... Witches with spirit fire on their hands and uh, some zombies w holding their heads. What do we have in the chest? Oh, we did Evo the Rune Carver. Perfect. No future. Evolved Rune Tracer explodes when by it was armor that uh, evo this one. Okay, perfect. Well, that's one evolution, so that's good. Feel good about that. Fire wand. I don't know if we have what we need to evo anything else. I, maybe Fire Wand, because I, I think Fire Wand evos with spinach. Uh, next time we get a chest, we should find out. So you need to get Pop the chest to evolve it. You, you take the passive, you max out the weapon, and that's the last level you'll see will be level 8. And then when you get a chest, if you have an evolution available, it usually evos it when the chest pops. Like That's what you'll pull out of the chest will be the evo. Oh, he didn't have a chest, he just had a red experience gem. Wasting our time grinding him. We'll, we'll kill a boss eventually, probably incidentally. For now, let's keep going. We'll get the wand to wand level 8 in the meantime. There's some fireworks on the screen. I think that's one of our abilities. I'm. It's not hurting us. So... But I don't really know which one's doing that. Oh, it must be the explosions from the from the rune caster. That must be it. Yep, it is. So they shoot out and then they explode in those purple fireworks. I don't know if I've ever noticed that before. Definitely Fire Wand. Alright, we've got more spinning lion heads. Who are quite beefy. Everything up right now is a little bit beefy, so I'm going to stay on the move here a little bit. And we are going to keep trying to work our way to the left. We don't have any kind of map right now. We'll get a map eventually. All the features of this game you unlock over time. So you, we will unlock a map. We will unlock a bestiary. We will unlock a list of uh, the evolutions that we've accomplished so far so we can refer to them later. But we just haven't unlocked any of that stuff yet because we're still really, really early with our meta progression. Okay, the zombies seem poppable pretty easily. Let's go spinach and just kind of up the damage of everything here. Yeah, that's actually helping immediately.
Okay, so here's a chest. Maybe we'll evolve the fire one with this one. Oh, three. It's a three-way chest. Can't complain about that. Armor, armor, and there we go. That's fire wand evolved into hellfire. It passes through enemies and requires spinach. All right, we found the artifact, it looks like. Grim Grimoire permanently allows to peek at discovered weapon evolutions and unions. So there are not only evolutions, but there are some weapons that you level up together that you then evolve that become one weapon, and those are called unions. So that's cool, that's what we unlocked. So now we're just trying to survive, guys. We got what we wanted out of this one as far as progression. We have girls on brooms here trying to slow us down with those little slow beams, which is scary when the fire ladies come out at us. Uh, so I would like to kill the guys trying to slow us. And they run away and they cast these little lasers at us. And it's definitely going to be what ends us here if anything does. Let's move away from them a little bit so we're not right next to the boss and all the angry fire ladies. But this does seem like fire lady the phase. So that's something to consider. We are going really slow. Need to get a move on here. See how these casters, they avoid us. They run away. They try to hit us with their laser beams. They do a damn good job at it too. I, I You can kind of almost avoid them. It's really hard to hunt them down and kill them though through everything else. All right, we took out that boss. And what are we gonna get here? Okay, we have another rank of empty tome, so reducing those cooldowns even further. That was a floor chicken we just ate. Pretty sure it's all about our passives now. Pretty sure we, we've maxed out all of our attacks, right? Our two evolutions is going to be enough to let us survive uh, as underpowered as we are with our meta progression and our other talents. I don't know. Oh, we got a bunch of these ladies now. They're, these ones aren't shooting laser beams at us that slow us, are they? Oh, wait. No, I think somebody is doing that. Yep, looks like it's all about the passives now. We're taking too much incidental damage. Okay, we're getting some poppable enemies back. We got the zombies back on the board that we can kind of run through. But not being able to run through anything else is kind of tough. We got a boss up. Oh, he went down really quick. Hollow heart. Okay, some more health pool.
I would like to see them eventually add maybe a 7th and 8th weapon slot. I feel like sometimes the maps are, are long to the point where you don't really get to up... You, you have so much time where you've upgraded everything, right? Where you don't really have a lot of exciting upgrades to look forward to. And if you had like one more weapon and one more passive to upgrade, I feel like you wouldn't really hit that, that spot as much. Oh, that was nice. Not sure what that was, but it seemed to clear the immediate area of all enemies. This is where it's going to get iffy with, without more evolutions. We, we really needed like a, a regen evolution. If we could have evolved garlic, that would have been nice. Oh, we got to get out of this corner. Oh. Alright, we're going to be taking floor chickens now from our level ups to keep our health up. Okay, we've got big skellies coming in, lots of bosses coming in, lots of big bats coming in. This this wave is looking really scary. Uh, this boss will stand right on top of us and kill us immediately if we don't get away from it. Oh yeah, this is going to get tough, guys. We gotta take this boss out, that would help a lot. Oh, the boss hits us, it's just gonna eat us. Okay, we got the boss, perfect, perfect. Four minutes left, guys, can we do it? I don't know. I'm not feeling super strong. Uh, we've got Medusa Nagas, ladies, Whatever, they're not quite Naga. But they're not Medusas either, they're not mermaids. I'm sure they have a real name. Oh, we're at a three-way chest. I, I don't think we need it now, so money, I guess. There we go, just some additional money. We actually do need money. Uh, we need all the money we can get, so... At this point, it's about reacting to which hole our abilities will open up. They'll open up a hole somewhere in some direction, and we just kind of got to feel it out and head towards that hole, and then when it just stops being a hole, we got to get out and find another hole, because we are going to get pinned in here, and it's not going to be good. We don't want to get trapped away from the experience. The experience is going to keep us alive uh, with those floor chickens we're going to keep getting. 
So yeah, we just can't get pinned in and stuck in one area for too long, and we need to be heading towards where there's experience already on the ground, which in a second here means we're gonna have to turn about. Oh, that was very nice to, to have right now, yeah. Look at all those red XP gems on the ground. We are down to the last minute, guys. Oh, they're gonna send fire ladies at us? Of course they're gonna send fire ladies. Fire ladies and angry treants. Here we go. Yep, I don't know about this, guys. We just, we're not bringing in any XP back here and we got cornered like I said we couldn't do. Yeah. I don't think there was any way out of that, man. 30 seconds. So close. Still a good run. 14 unlocks. We got the hyper library unlocked. We found the evolution list. Okay, we found clover for luck. That's a passive. Gauntlets are a passive that increase, I think, attack speed. Ebony wings, because we got Pichon to level 7. That's a new attack. We got spellbinder, a new passive. We unlocked Poe, who starts with garlic, which is amazing. We unlocked Clarice, who starts with Santa Water. We unlocked the Dairy Plant. We unlocked the Rune Tracer for every hero now. And we unlocked Pentagram, which is a, another attack ability. We got 500 gold by evolving the Fire Wand. And we got 500 gold by evolving the Rune Tracer. So yeah, all in all, I, I'd say pretty good run. A pretty good run. You know, we want to get that last 30 seconds, but we just, we weren't powerful enough. And that's what some of our passive stuff is for. So now, we could probably just, uh, well, let's take a look. We can do more projectiles, but we're not quite there yet. The revive is 10,000. Uh, I think we just go with some basic stuff. Let's go with might. Let's max might out and be done with might. Uh, let's do max health and be done with that. And we'll put some points into recovery. And that, that kind of levels up all of our base stuff except for armor. And I feel like that is a good place for us to start with our upgrades. That was a lot of fun, though. Thank you guys very much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. If you're digging the content, leaving a like on the video and subscribing would really help me out a lot. And I'd be very appreciative. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves out there in the real world and take care of each other. And we'll see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.